Dear viewers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. In this lecture, I'm just going to show you that how will analysis and design a script foundation. So actually for uh, when we uh, create a machinery structure or a big structure, then usually we use that types of foundation. So in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we analysis and design that. So for that, from here, you have to select your design code. So from here, I'm selecting USA and I'll click new after opening our software. And from here, you have to select unit, which unit you prefer. So I'm using that one. After that, I'll just go ahead, concrete, then, uh, sorry, footing analysis. And after that, I'll just click here, footing analysis and design, then continue. And wait for some time. So from here, not bad, I'll just, uh, click the strip. Okay, I'll just click uh, strip foundation. So from here, and uh, here you have to provide the uh, width what is the width of that foundation okay what is the width of that foundation so uh, i'll consider our width will be two feet right i'll consider our uh, width will be two feet and uh, depth uh, i can consider depth will be 12 feet like that okay depth will be uh, sorry 12 inch not feet uh, or it's okay if we try first for 8 inch and if not then we we'll change that and after that uh, design concrete that is okay and if you have uh, dead load searchers you have to provide a live load searchers you have to provide here so when it's okay after that i'll just go ahead calculation option i mean i'll just change the load combination and um, design code so from here uh, i'll just uh, asc 710 that's okay if you need to change that you can change from here and uh, here this is for service load you know that a foundation wall is uh, designed for service load and only as i am using dead load and live load that's why i have to click on two but if you have a uh, wheel dot or anything then you can uh, click here for wall so here a uh, factor of safety you have um, if you should to provide a factor of safety against overturning and sliding you can give here then i'll just click ok and from here i'll add wall okay so i'll just click here to add wall so here you see our uh, that section are i mean that uh, width are uh, 12 inch and sorry um, this is 12 inch and uh, and width of all that is 12 inch and the position we have considered that our the that wall will be on the middle of the wall so here we have to provide load as per your requirement so i am only providing axial load so uh, here keep dead load i am considering that that is uh, 1.5 keep and live load i am considering that is 2 keep okay and if you have rope live load then snow snow load uh, then uh, if they have uh, live uh, wind load seismic load then you can add then horizontal load if they have any horizontal load on base if they have any load on base then you can add here and uh, the moment on base well one for all uh, all on it for that all one uh, if you have any load on the base you can add here as per your requirement i mean sorry moment you can add here so after that i'll simply click okay so on uh, that criteria have done that criteria have done now i'll just click here preview analysis result okay i'll check that everything is okay or not so we are seeing that applied rate load 4.1 uh, uplift here applied it 4.1 that is okay and uh, soil bearing that is also okay okay and uh, where will provide soil bearing here here will provide soil bearing so first of all depth of soil so uh, how much will be depth uh, here it's given uh, two feet if you think that you will reduce or increase that then it's up to you so you can uh, change that value then soil poverty what is the soil poverty so if you if you have to select a gross or net um, allowable bearing pressure so i'm considering our soil bearing capacity is 2 and a density of soil over footing it's 120 it's okay angle of friction you can change that as per your uh, soil properties and angle of base friction if there have any then you can use that otherwise you can uncheck here uncheck here right so i'm just uh, taking here 30 degree and also 30 degree so when it's okay and uh, consider passive resistance of soil against sliding if you have to consider sliding then you can select rakha you can provide the data as per rakha in columns and user defined so i'm not considering that i'll just click ok 
and it's again checking that this is okay or not so let's see here this is not okay okay because our uh, this value is little bit 0 0.23 and uh, resisting um, I mean the force applied it on 2 so it's not okay so what do we, what do we have to do just a little bit increase that width okay so uh, 2 point 2.25 then uh, see what happened for 2.25 so now it's okay all right for 2.25 feet width of that wall this is okay and again if you need to edit that wall section then from here you can uh, increase actually uh, the width of all that's 12 inch it's uh, huge so what you can do that i can uh, increase that uh, if you consider that we have a uh, six inch wall or anything right or if we if we consider that i have a eight inch wall or ten inch wall like that then click anywhere and has the ten inch wall and then click ok so after that you can change that anything what you required actually so when it's done then i'll just go next oh, our analysis is okay sorry our uh, analysis is okay now i'll just go for next I mean for what for rcc i mean for design so preview design result i'll just click here and do it for some time after that i'll just go here for our uh, design so here you are seeing that uh, uh the concrete design code here i'm using 31811 you can change it as preview department so you have like uh, live dot factor how to be the factor 0 0.5 or 1.5 okay so it, that is one because for service load i will do that i'll just click ok and wait for some time after that we have to change the materials type so i'll just click here and which types of material here are available three three hundred uh, three thousand psi and uh, nominal co cover to co uh, reinforcement three inch it's okay so here everything is okay and uh, wall materials what is that what is wall material it is concrete or machinery which types of wall you are using concrete or machinery so i'm considering this is masonry masonry then i'll click okay okay so here we are seeing that not every data is okay and here uh, finally i'll just go for reinforcement so number i will use number five bar because we, we required only 0 0.17 inch area requirement so if we use number four bar then it's okay also so you can change that and here is the now uh, bar okay uh, so if you want to increase if you want to decrease you can do anything from here like that okay so i'll just give 18 spc then also even we can provide uh, 10 inch even uh, till 12 inch this is okay so i'll just provide 10 inch for safety then okay and after that our work have done so everything is okay now i'll just simply click finish uh, depth of reinforcement may not be less than six okay so what is the issue here actually so i have to go back and here i have um, considered depth depth 18 so i have to increase i will provide 10 10 and uh, the remaining 7 uh, remaining uh, the clear code 3 so maybe it will be okay now the next and uh, the next Uh, it's okay now i'll just simply click finish so it's done in this way you are able to uh, design and wait for some time for that data so in this way you are able to design that uh, wall as per your requirement and as per your design criteria so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video